For the past 20 years, my wife, Evie, and I have been the victims of criminal activities perpetrated by a small network of individuals who are out to destroy us personally, professionally, and financially. This network of individuals is manipulating the banking system and the criminal justice system for the purposes of sabotaging our credit and our credibility. Up until a year ago, Evie and I had never had any run-in with the law whatsoever. We are not criminals, nor are we fugitives from justice, nor are we crazy. We are simply artists and filmmakers who are being racketeered on. We believe there are to be a malignant tumor of star whackers in Hollywood. How many people do you know personally who have died suddenly and mysteriously in the past five years? I have personally known eight actors, all of whom all of whom I have worked with and was close to. Heath Ledger, Chris Penn, David Carradine among them. I believe these actors were whacked, and I believe that many others, such as Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan, and Mel Gibson, are being played to get at their money. In the meantime, many of celebrities' image and marketability is being co-opted co -opted and destroyed. Google helps out by keeping the negative stories near the top of a celebrity's web page because it's the negativity that brings in the advertising revenue. In my own case, my ex-attorney Lloyd Braun has joined this tribe of bottom feeders by creating his own celebrity gossip website. What is wrong with that picture? When your own attorney starts defaming you, who do you turn to to defend you? Lloyd Braun also claims to have come up with the idea of The Sopranos, so he's obviously familiar with the ways and means of organized crime. Unfortunately, my brother Dennis has made matters worse by buying a house from Mr. Braun on property Braun originally bought with money he embezzled from me. I recently discovered, much to my surprise, that Dennis is also on the deed to my Santa Barbara property. This is also the work of Mr. Braun further confounding the, valid the validity of the transfer of my fully furnished property in 1992 to Mr. Bruce Berman. I have earned approximately $40 million throughout my career. I have profit participation in some of my films. I am being embezzled from by this monstrous ring of accountants, estate planners, and lawyers who are mercilessly slandering me and trying to kill my career and I believe murder me in order to gain control of my royalties. I wish to return to only one thing, work. So does your client plan on attending the hearing next week in Santa Barbara? My client is uh, intending to comply with the law in both jurisdictions and we are going to spend the next couple of days strategizing how to best achieve that. Will that not compromise your refugee? It may. We, are, we have a number of options available to us now, some of which existed before he made a refugee claim and some which arose yesterday. So we're going to take a look at the best options and it may be that we do abandon the refugee claim. So in, in favor of what, citizenship application, a sponsorship? There are numerous options, work permits, permanent resident status, there are all sorts of options. This is what we need to discuss in Liberty. And do you, do you understand how paranoid and delusional your client sounds? I'm not going to comment.